What's going on everybody? Fluff here with another Cool Gear Alert. This time we're going to look at the brand new Fender in-ear monitors. Now these particular ones that I got to check out are called the FXA7. Now these are good from six hertz all the way up to 24 kilohertz. That is quite the range. Now let's talk about the things that I really liked about these. Uh, we did some pre-production. My band recently did some pre-production and I had the opportunity to use these in a live environment uh, monitoring the DAW while my buddy Jared played some drums and I also let him use these while tracking, listening to the backing track and I got some of his thoughts as well. Now, the things that I like about these are uh, the fact that these swivel, the connectors swivel and you can't really pull on them and break them, they detach. And the fact that they swivel kind of relaxes more in your ear and I found that very, very comfortable. Um, I also like the fact that it came with a very high quality case. This case is not a hard shell case, but I would call it a firm soft shell case. It's kind of like the new gig bags that, are, that have been coming out recently that are not quite the flimsy old school gig bags, but they're not quite hard shells either. Um, it's very light, but it's very sturdy and it has some nice durability to it. I also really like the fact that Fender includes a whole bunch of different uh, plastic molded ear pieces uh, for different sizes and different ear shapes. I thought that was a really cool touch. And I like the fact that it has a cleaning tool and in addition to all of that, when you're not using your in-ears, it comes with a set of earplugs, a really high quality set of earplugs, which sound fantastic by themselves. Now, how do these guys sound? I found these to be not as present in the low end as I was expecting from a set of 499 in-ear monitors. I found myself uh, when listening to a mix wanting to dial the bass up a little bit more than necessary just to kind of compensate and I did find the range of up to 24 kilohertz to be quite a bit. I mean these can be a little fatiguing uh, after long-term use. Um, not super bad, not, not the kind of fatigue that you would necessarily feel if you were listening to music on a set of, you know, Yamaha speakers or, you know, Genelec monitors or something like that. But the high end was definitely um, a little bit more present than I was expecting or am used to. Uh, as far as the build quality, these feel very good and they have a good weight to them. They're not excessive weight or anything like that, but these are 3D printed and I like the fact that you can see, you know, the, the, the fasteners on the outside and they feel very good. Now, as far as the plastic removable earbuds, I don't know if you can see that. I would prefer these to be the actual solid foam kind that really mold into your ear because if you are being physical and you are moving around and these move around a little bit, you can hear the plastic in your ear canal kind of move around a little bit. Now, this may be just my ear, everyone's obviously different, but I thought it was worth mentioning because it did happen no matter what set or what size, rather, I put on the uh, IEM. So maybe your mileage may vary, I don't know, but overall, I really like these. And I think, you know, 499 for what I presume to be a seven driver in-ear monitor is uh, a huge bang for your buck. Typically with these kind of ear monitors, you're looking at maybe double that price uh, for a competitor. So Fender really kind of cornered the market. If you're looking for uh, in-ear monitors and you're new to the in-ear monitor market, definitely check out the Fender stuff. Um, I do like it. Overall, uh, you get a lot of value for your money and I like the options and I like that they have different size earbuds for everybody. All applicable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.